Hey team, uh, so one of the things I want to help you with as you move forward in this project is uh, changing the files that are within the playground that are the, the image files. I've shown you a few times in class that if you go over here and you click on the plus button and then this, this image button, you can see all of the files from the tutorial floating in there. Uh, and it gives you some options on putting in new files if you want to. Um, but it actually requires that you do that one at a time. And so I want to show you a very quick way to add a bunch of files at once. So what you need to do is you need to go to your iCloud Drive directory. This is where Playground stores a lot of the, uh, all the Playgrounds that you're opening within the Playgrounds app. And if you open up Playgrounds, you'll see uh, all of the Playgrounds that you have. You probably have uh, fewer than I do and up here I have our playground uh, book for the tutorial if you do a two finger click and you go to show package contents you'll actually see you'll get two folders if you go to edits and then you go to user resources this is where all of those files are so if you have a different set of images you can take all of those uh, image files and just drag them into this folder and those images will be added to the playground and then you can um, move forward um, playing around with this um, as, as you might want to for this project. The other thing that I want you to consider doing uh, in order to make it so that you don't run into any issues is you might remember way back in the beginning of the tutorial uh, you actually use this this image system name um, photo as kind of a placeholder for photos. And so one thing that might make things easier as you are tweaking this and making it work the way you want to is you could actually comment out the code that loads the image uh, from the tutorial and just put that image back in so that you get this placeholder in case the images are the reason this isn't working. So you can actually do the rest of the development on your project using just the the system image uh, and not have to worry about uh, errors popping up when an image file is slightly different uh, like the file name isn't quite what it needs to be to load. And so you can actually replace that that code um, everywhere that you load an image. So you'll see it's still loading the images right here. And if I go to the place in the sandwich cell where that happens, I can actually comment out the image code like this and just paste in that, that same uh, image placeholder. And when I run the code, it'll just use that placeholder image and then you can change the properties of and, and experiment to get it working exactly the way you want and then when you're ready load the image files in. So hopefully that'll make things a little bit easier as you uh, develop this. Good luck!